Uh, I'd like to Barry and Brown. Barry and Brown, so far too. And we're going to talk about the Guardian Band Business Plan Competition and the winner will be unveiled today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And you all don't have to worry about finding out after the commercial break today. <laughs> Um, I, I stand before you, and it's a true honor to be here and uh, to be responsible for helping Guardian Bank and our, our partners coordinate the Guardian Bank Business Plan Competition. They've been wonderful supporters of this since the beginning. Um, they were able to provide us with the financial support that we needed to bring this to the community since it began back in 2005. So I really appreciate you all doing that for us and for working with us. We have Mr. Ray Chitty with us. Eric Johnson and also Dr. Ron Zachrock. So um, thank you all. And what I'd like to do is kind of take you back just a few years. I want to go back to 100 years like the Chamber Centennial Celebration, but I'll take you back to 2006 with our first winner. And um, also I want to take this opportunity to recognize our partners as well who have been with us since the competition began back in 2006. One of them has a different name change, but as has already been mentioned, the mission has not changed at all. So, um, representatives from Boston State University, if you'll stand so that we can recognize you. <laughs> we have Wiregrass Georgia Technical College, and um, Walt Moore was a judge with the competition for this year, as well as um, Bill Kent was a judge. But back in 2006, with the first winner, there was Smith Barnes and Associates, so I believe that Ms. Megan is here with us on today. She's sitting right here. <laughs> and in 2007, we had Culture Response. They were a winner, and Guardian was so generous, um, they actually awarded a second place prize during the 20, 2007 competition. And then there's a company that many of you may be familiar with here that won the competition in 2008. And that will be Waha Zidane and Zelly Health Innovations. In 2009, we had um, South Georgia Medical Research and Ms. Robin Miller, that was the winner. In 2010, I believe that we have a familiar face in the audience, and that will be Mr. Bill Kent over here with Innovate Engineering Solutions. Someone that you may have just seen recently on the cover of Progress Magazine, our 2011 winner, Mr. Kurt Fowler, Fowler & Company. <laughs> Show of hands, anybody think the 2012 winners want to be the next slide? <laughs> okay. Um, what I would like to do is also bring up each one of our finalists for this year. We have Mr. Randy Rathman with Effect Point. And um, while he's coming up, I just want to share with you all that the Chamber, you know, was able to get a study done by Georgia Tech that recognized our um, major points of emphasis whenever it comes to industries and where our, our community can really grow, and that would be information technologies, medical services, and support in environmental um, technology. And we actually had two of those categories re represented with our three finalists this year. So. Um, with that being said, what I'd like to do is bring up Randy Rathman as our first person to give you a little bit of a commercial about what a pet point is and what he can do. Thank you, Barry, and thank you to Guardian Bank for sponsoring this great competition and to the Chamber for, for facilitating it. It's been a great experience, uh, really good us in ground, in, ingrained in what we need to accomplish as businesses are starting up, and hopefully we'll see a lot more success out of all three of us going forward. A pet point is focused on the points that affect an organization's results. We see two primary points of effect or, or influence in every organization, and those are leadership and customers. And there are two major shifts occurring within the marketplace that impact both. The first is a generational shift. What we see in the generational shift is that the millennial generation, those are the 31-year-olds and unders, are accounting for about 35% of the buying power in the U.S. now, while the baby boomer generation turns 65 to the tune of 10,000 per day. These two generations are radically different in how they make their buying decisions and how they make their decisions on how to allocate their time and resources. And every organization, regardless of your focus, is going to be impacted by the generational shift. The second is a feedback shift, with organizations constantly with, with feedback now going online instead of through uh, normal day-to-day -day conversations. 
what we see is that seventy four percent of end users go to online resources to find out where they're going to spend their time and their resources. And they trust that online content through local review sites and social media to decide where they're going to spend their resources. Every organization that has an online presence, whether you think you do or not, is impacted by this shift as well. EffectPoint has two primary offerings to address the generational shift and the feedback shift and help organizations not just embrace it, but grow from it. The first are our customer effect services, where we work with an organization's online content and online reviews and online feedback to build them, to grow them, and to help them migrate into a business and an organization that's relevant, not just today, but for the next 10, 20, and 30 years. Our second are our organizational effect services. That's where we focus on business leadership and provide coaching at a business level and an executive level to help improve an organization and embrace these two changes that are occurring every day right in front of us. We're focused on the points that affect results, and we'll be glad and enjoy the opportunity to work with every organization here to ensure your long-term success.